We are a vibrant, thriving, diverse city. We have about 56,000 people that uh, are here in the city. We have 72 different languages spoken in our public school system. But what makes us very unique is our diversity. We have people that come from all over the world uh, that come to Harrisonburg and makes Harrisonburg their home. We are uh, a growing city, but we still have that intimate feel. Uh, we are still a family. Well, within Harrisonburg Public Works, uh, we are a staff of around 100 employees that work, on, work through non-separate divisions, uh, ranging from solid waste recycling, street maintenance, traffic engineering, sustainability and environmental divisions. Within solid waste and recycling, we have created a mobile unit and a recycling con uh, convenience center where we go to the citizens to have give them opportunities to recycle their goods. And we changed our motto from quantity to now our recycling is quality. Quality sanitation is important to Harrisonburg for the curb appeal. We like to keep the streets clean and safe for visitors coming into town. There's no trash or anything on the streets. Before Rubicon, we, ha we used to use a shotgun approach. The guys would come in, get into the trash trucks, and just go. They would go wherever they thought to pick up trash. Now every truck has its own route. Everything is recorded. The mileage has been cut down. Time's been cut down. They, they know exactly where they're going and what they're picking up now. Rubicon has worked really well in sanitation, so we're gonna move it into different departments, such things as the street sweeping. We keep track of the mileage and what streets they have been sweeping. Our street sweeper is part of our suite of practices for water quality that we use to clean up the roadways and remove debris before it reaches the storm drain, which helps to reduce flooding potential. It also provides water quality benefits. The Blacks Run South Stream Restoration is one of our stormwater best management practices. It is aimed at repairing uh, the banks along the stream and to reconnect the floodplain so that the water can spread out and slow down. The solar installation on the Public Works building is the first solar system on a municipal government building for the city, and it's part of one of many to come. Our urban wood program is our process to reutilize trees that have to come down. The larger trunks we will mill and create lumber. We often use these to build tables, benches, and the smaller stuff we can turn into hairpin tables, and then the stuff that's too small to turn into a usable material, uh, we chip up into mulch and put around our pollinator plants. Here to here, just straight up and down. All right, start putting some dirt in there and I'll hold it for you. So all these projects come together and work in harmony, we feel, to make Harrisonburg a more environmentally friendly and sustainable location. So the residents of Harrisonburg are our customers. They are the main reason that we have we have positions, we have the Public Works Department, and they, they are the ones that we deliver all of our services for. Accessibility for all people in the city of Harrisonburg is very important. We look to create a connected transportation network for people who are driving, people who are walking, people who are biking, and people who are using the bus system. The city has been awarded a raise grant for Liberty Street in downtown Harrisonburg to replace one vehicle lane with uh, bicycle lanes. Uh, a key part of the raise grant is safety and also improving the, the vitality of the downtown business district. The Friendly City Trail is a path that connects multiple neighborhoods and multiple schools and also multiple parks. So it's a way for people to move around the city and to access recreation and also get to school. We're pursuing this future where the roads are safer through applying for grants, through working with the public to identify what changes are needed on streets throughout the city. Within our traffic engineering section, we've become extremely technologically savvy. We currently utilize what is called our, the MyoVision system. It's a camera that not only detects traffic and, and sends the correct communications to the controller cabinet, but it also counts vehicles 24-7. And our transportation engineers can pull that data real time 
and see what traffic is doing on corridors and make those timing adjustments so our system can stay smooth and smooth and operating. So IMAP is a system where public works employees can upload information related to permits from utility companies, our project activity, public utilities, water sewer projects into a portal that gives citizens an ability to go on, click on the map, click on their street and see what we're doing. They can come go right to a one-stop shop any time of the day, 24 seven, and see what's going around the city. The future vision of Public Works is to continue to be a sustainable green department, as well as being able to maintain services at a high level for our residents and travelers that come through the city. Um, we strive to be the best that we can in our operations, and we'll continue to um, do that through all the different programs and new initiatives that we haven't even thought of yet that will hopefully come to the city and then we'll be able to capitalize on those and in some time future share even more of what we do. We just continue to be that um, gold um, star, if you, if you will, um, that we set the bar um, in local government, um, that we provide um, exceptional service, um, and that we continue to be that city that um, I frequently say, a city for all. That whoever decides uh, to live here in Harrisonburg uh, feels accepted, feels welcome, feels safe, and feels that they're taken care of.